Hey guys, thank you so much for coming to this video. So I wanted to talk about some things that I have found. So we all have our holy grail items, our makeup that we know is good, that we love, that never disappoints us, that we think we'll use forever and ever and ever, amen. And then all of a sudden something new comes along, it just takes over and you're like, how did this happen? How did this happen to me when I wasn't looking for it? It just comes out of nowhere. And now you have a brand new Holy Grail item that is just, it's better than the other one. It's just, it's just better. And you, you didn't think it was possible, but it is. And I just want to share those with you guys. I had a bunch of Holy Grail items, the best of the best that I thought, <laughs> that I thought was the best of the best that I have now replaced. If you guys are interested in seeing all the favorite items that I have replaced and what I replaced them with, then let's get into this video. All right, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I loved, 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 loved the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Oh, I used it every day for like two and a half years, like almost every day, unless I was like trying something else. But I always go back to it, always, because it just, it just looked so good. It looked natural. I would always use two layers of it. So it was more, it was like not full coverage, but it was like, medium to full and I just love the way it looked it's only five dollars at the drugstore and I just I couldn't stop using it no matter what I did I'd always go back to this and now I have a replacement it's still drugstore but as the Milani conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation I don't know why like I know I've used this before and I did like it but like I think my bottle just got old and every time I went back to it it was just too thick and chunky or something so I I bought a new one like probably like six months ago ish and I can't stop using it now every time I go back to this I'm just like nope I need I need the Milani it just it looks so good like it covers everything but it gives you this like natural almost dewy finish and it just oh, I just love it <laughs> so this is more expensive this one is like I think $12 at the drugstore so it's over double the price of the Wet n Wild one, but still a good price drugstore and I love it. So speaking of Wet n Wild, I also loved this contouring kit. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette and I would get it in Dulce de Leche. I think they have two different shades. Um, I would never even use this side. I would just use this as a contour and I loved it so much. This was only like four or five bucks also at the drugstore. Oh, I loved it. I loved it real I loved it a lot it was it was just it's just such a nice shade I still do love it but but now I've gotten so hooked on the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Capri Coast which yes this is expensive this is not drugstore but you guys it's beautiful it has like a tiny sheen to it whereas the Wet n Wild doesn't so I feel like you get just a more natural look with it um, like it just blends out a little easier. It just looks a little more seamless. It looks a little more skin like whereas the wet and wild one You kind of have to be careful with it because it is so matte and it's a little more pigmented So you can't you can get kind of streaky You can get that like good streak going if you're not careful with this one But I just I'll I mean I haven't even had this that long and I'm it's already almost gone. So it's just so beautiful. I'm obsessed with it and I just, I hate that it's so expensive because I love it. Oh my, I don't wanna get it on my white shirt, that'd be bad. Okay, next is a primer. I was totally hooked on the Benefit Professional for the longest time. Like this was everybody's jam, everybody everywhere was using it several years back. It just was the best for filling in pores and giving you that like, smooth seamless look but now I have found the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer so it's it's like a little thicker it comes in a jar so it's it's a little thicker but it just it fills in your pores a lot better than the professional does 
Um, I think they're similar in price. The Tarte's probably a little more expensive, but it just works so much better and you use a tiny, tiny bit, whereas this one I would like use a lot more and I feel like it just didn't do as good of a job. Like the Tarte one I'll use mainly on my nose because I have those pores in there that just, they're just there. What can you do? Like, I don't know, but they're there. They're annoying. I don't want my makeup. Like when you put foundation on and you haven't used a pore filling primer, you just see these like little holes and it's just gross. And it is gross to think about you're filling in your pores with primer, but this is really good. I love this one. This next one is really recent and I still am kind of shocked because I loved my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge for $5. Like, <laughs> everything's like $5 at the drugstore. What is this? I thought it was ridiculous to pay $20 for a beauty sponge that lasts you like maybe a month um, when you can get it for $5. I actually like this one better. I love the shape. I love it has this like completely flat side. Um, it was really nice for like doing powder under my eyes. And I just, I just prefer this over the beauty blender and I would just, I don't know how many of these I've bought a lot and I thought it would just never end. I thought I would just be repurchasing these as long as I'm applying foundation. But something else has taken over my foundation and that is the Tati Blendiful. If you guys haven't seen this, I did a video on it when they first came out and I first got mine. I can, I have not put mine down since. I have not used this once since I got this and that was like over a month ago. I don't know what it does but it's like this soft microfiber like puff thing and it's dirty of course because I used it. Just the way that it presses in the foundation. So I do have two of these. I have one for powder and one for foundation and I mean they're not gonna last forever but they definitely last longer than a month and I don't know what it does to my foundation, but it just makes it look so much more like skin. It's magic. If you haven't tried it, you need to. The next thing is for hair. So I used to use the Batiste dry shampoo, which is a drugstore brand, but I have now found the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day dry shampoo, and I can't get enough of this. It just, it's so good. It smells really good. I use it at night so that it doesn't leave like any white cast on my hair because if you do it that day, it kind of has like this powdery look. But I'll just do this at night and then the next day my hair just looks nice and fresh and I don't have to wash it, so I really love it. But the Batiste one is really good. I feel like it just, it leaves more of a white cast even if you do it at night. So I think just even for the price, it is, <laughs> it's expensive, but it's really good. So yeah, I love that one. Okay, this next one like came out of nowhere. I didn't even know it was happening. And then I just one day realized like, whoa, is this really happening? Like, is this my new favorite? Like what? And then I even went back and used the old one. And I was like, I don't even like it anymore. What is this? That is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I swear I would never use another mascara. Like I would never love another mascara. I was committed to this. It was just this or nothing. Then somehow I started using the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara and like this just makes your lashes like so full. Like not really long. It's not like the lengthening curling kind of mascara. It just gives you like this crazy volume and that's what I would prefer is just more volume rather than length. I don't like lashes that are really really thin and just really long. I think it looks weird but I love volume and this just works and it is more expensive, but I've been paying more for it because it works so much better. And I even had a brand new one of these. I opened it up and I used it the other day and I was like, no, no, like, no, I don't like you anymore. We're done. We're over. I'm, I'm moving on. And I was kind of shocked by that because I was like, I, I swear that was such a good mascara. Like what happened? That one I'm still shocked about. So next, um, I don't have it, but I, w I loved the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And then when they came out with the Brow Definer, I was obsessed with it. And I was like, this is it for me. I'm good. I got my brows covered. Then this little, it's the brand Scone. I've never even heard of them before. The Brow Wand, which is, so it's, 
it's very similar it's the, like the little teardrop shape just something about this formula I really like I feel like it's a little bit more pigmented than the brow definer and it just helps me get pigment where I need it because I don't have a lot of brows so I kind of need to draw on my skin in order to get the look I want and sometimes with a brow definer it was just too light um even the darker colors it just wasn't getting enough on there to kind of stick on there and I was having trouble with that so this just makes it so much easier and I'm sad because it's almost gone and I don't know where to buy this I don't remember what box I got it in I got it in some subscription box I'm gonna have to look it up and figure out where I can get this but it's really good I don't really miss the brow definer so next is the RCMA no color powder I use this for a long time it's really dirty I don't know what that's on there but it comes in this little like spice container almost and you so you need like another container to pour it in so it's kind of inconvenient but I love I mean I did love this powder I just feel like it left my skin looking a little bit like not white like it didn't leave a white cast but it almost left like a like a tint like it kind of made my my under eyes like look a little off for some reason so I started using the Cody Airspun powder this one works so good it looks so smooth it's just really nice this one's only I don't know how much at the drugstore five six bucks and it just the only thing about this one is it smells weird like it smells like old grandma perfume but I, using it for so long now I don't even really notice it but for the longest time I was every time I used it I was like oh it stinks so if you're not if you can't deal with smells then maybe don't try this one but it doesn't linger like once you're done using it you don't smell it anymore but it is a really good powder but I am on the hunt for a good powder that is basically like this, but with no talc in it. So if you guys have any recommendations for a good talc-free powder, let me know in the comments below because I really want to find something without talc. I used to be obsessed with chapstick, like chapstick all day long every day. I would do like the strawberry ones and I like I always had it in my pocket like my jeans all had like a worn spot on my pocket from my chapstick and a couple I think it's been like two years now I switched to the NYX butter gloss like these are so good first of all it's way cuter to like put on lip gloss than it is to like put on chapstick I don't know why like I'd always be like, oh, I need my chapstick, but like, I feel like, oh, I need my lip gloss, you know, like, it's just a little more girly. They have a lot of different shades, but my favorite is creme brulee, and it's just like this nice soft pink. It like goes on top of everything. It's not too pink. It's not too bright or anything. Like, you can just literally put it on top of any lipstick or on top, like, just wear it with nothing, and it's gonna look good. It smells kind of vanilla, cakey. So it smells really good, it looks really nice, and yeah, I don't ever use chapstick anymore. Just these. Okay, this last one is not really, it hasn't been replaced, it's just been added to. So you guys know my obsession with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Can't live without it. Um, anytime I do my makeup, I like, if I don't use this, I notice that it starts breaking down and like looking a little weird. I got this in a subscription box a little bit ago. This is the Iconic London Prep Set Glow Water Mist Original. And I don't know if you can see that like swirling around in there. It's just this beautiful like shimmery. It's kind of like a rose gold color. So it's not like gold, but it's also not champagne. It's just kind of right there in the middle. Ever since I started using this, I can't tell you how like good and like skin like and dewy my face looks without being too much there's been several setting sprays that I've used that are just way too shimmery and I don't like how they look this one looks so good so what I'll do is I'll spray this a couple times and then I'll go in with my all-nighter and set it with this and it's they're like the perfect combo so now I need both of these now it's now it's these two so these two are what it's about forever i just ordered a second one of these as a backup because i don't know when i'm gonna run out i mean it's lasted quite a while so far but 
Every time I do my makeup, I use both of these now and I love how it looks. All right, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I do three videos a week. And please check out some more of my videos if you'd like to. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. As the light startled our eyes, we let go of disguise.